Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I finally got my clear tips in the post, so I'm going to be creating a glass nail. I am creating my nail bed using the reverse French method. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how I do it because I have done a couple of videos before, I'm pretty sure, on how to do a reverse French nail. So I will, if I remember, I'll leave the card at the top and you can go and check out that video. Once the nail bed has set, even if I think it's pretty neat anyway, I do like to go over the edge of the smile line with my hand file so that I get a super crisp smile line. So I will brush off the dust and we're ready to carry on. I'm taking Lush Coconut from Glam and Glitz and Snow Globe from Nail Sugar. Oh, I love that glitter. So the acrylic is like, I think it's like semi-transparent, but it's got like a white shimmer in it. It's really nice. And then this uh, glitter is a white iridescent glitter. It's so nice. I'm going to be placing the Lush Coconut only around the smile line area and then I'm going to gently fade it down. I don't want to fade it down too far because I do want the edge to be see-through still, the free edge to be see-through still. So I really want to keep the bulk of that coloured acrylic at the smile line. Then I will be taking a small bead of clear acrylic, dipping it into the snow globe glitter and placing that on the nail. I'm going to start it from the side of the free edge and then I'm going to fade it down toward, no, the side of the smile, no, <laughs> the side of the nail bed. Did I say that or did I say free edge? I can't remember. Right, I'm going to start it from the side of the nail bed and work it down the free edge but I'm not going to cover too much of the free edge because as I said earlier I do want there to be some transparency in the free edge. Love that word, transparency. There we are. So now I am happy with the glitter etc. I will be capping the free edge in clear acrylic. So once it had set, I went ahead and filed and buffed it. I'm going to be adding some crystals. These are mixed crystals. They're AV crystals from Nail Sugar. There were lots more crystals in here, loads of bigger sizes as well. I just took the bigger crystals out and I separated them into similar sizes and popped them in, in pots. So I'm just going to use these smaller crystals. I'm going to be using my wax pencil to pick them up. And to adhere them, I'm going to be using my Chiara Sky base. So they're only going to go down the centre of the nail bed. You don't need a lot of the Chiaroscope base. Um, it's it's like a resin. So don't, don't put too much on, otherwise I think it takes a little while to dry. I've not used it very often though. I hate using really nice stuff like that on... Well, no, I, no, that's not true. Just ignore me. I'm not going to do, I've, do you know what, I've tried to do this voiceover so many times already this morning and I keep getting interrupted or I think now I sound like an idiot so I'm going to redo it. <laughs> it's, I'm having one of those voiceover days. So the bigger crystals I'm going to start at the cuticle area and then I'm going to gradually decrease the size as I get to the smile line. ran out of the base just right at the end so I'm just going to put a little tiny dot back on so that I can pop that last crystal on. I really need to work on my crystal placement. I mean how boring is that? I see all these fancy clusters and I think wow 
so I think I might have to play around with them. The trouble is I hate wasting crystals on practice tips and I think oh they could be on my fingers and they're not there on practice tips. <laughs> So I'm going to top coat the nail, but you need to make sure you don't go over the crystals. I'm just butting the top coat up to the edge of the crystals. If you go over the crystals, they will lose their sparkles, so do not do that. Stupidly, I've zoomed in too far and you missed the, uh, the exciting part of the top coating, but you can see it now. The glitter and that lush coconut acrylic look just lovely. I do love see-through nails. Ta-da! <laughs> if you did make it this far, please leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing to my channel. Um, you need to check out my uh, nap mug challenge video. Um, if you post your picture, I will showcase them in on my channel at some point. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!